Hi my friends, today we model this part which has uh, an interesting shape as you can see. The drawing is this one and uh, here is a note. The ends A1 and A2, these two, of the axis will be connected by a spline curve tangent to them in these points. From this point to this point will create a spline curve. This uh, doesn't have uh, dimensions. You don't see here uh, dimensions of radii, nothing. But you see faces with dimensions and also distances this point is important this point is important they are not in the same plane one is here the other is uh, behind this point Let's start. New standard millimeters IPT. New sketch in this plane. And we draw a simple vertical line of 60 millimeters. This is the first axis that I mentioned before. Now I create a plane based on the xy plane but placed at minus 50 then i use this plane to create the other axis the other axis is a line of 40 millimeters placed at the 160 from the projection of the center point 160 and a distance of 110 fully constrained sketch I hide this plane and now we have the two lines I mentioned before. This point must be connected wow, 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 with this one by using a spline, but not a plane curve. This is not a, a curve in plane. It is a special curve or 3D curve. To create that uh, special uh, uh, spline, we use 3D sketch. Nothing is changed, but we have two entities to be included in this assembly. When you work in plane, you project entities in that plane. When you work with the 3D sketches, you include entities in the 3D sketch. Good. Now I can select these two lines. Before this I couldn't do this. Spline from this point to this point okay oh but what is this a curve 3d curve this is not a 3d curve this is a straight line yes of course 
but I told you that we must place this tangent to this line and also tangent here. We use the constraint tangent and we apply between these two ends. Now it is spatial entity that's plane and when I apply the same constraint here you see a very nice curve which connects these two lines okay finish 3d sketch then I select this plane because I want to create this uh, cylinder with diameter of 60 oh circle in the center point diameter of 60 why should I do this because I apply sweep inventor C sees that here is a, a, an only one close contour so it goes from one profile which was this one to here when you see a blue underline you must know that inventor waits for you to select a curve or an edge take a look here select continuous sketch curves or edges oh this is this okay we have a special uh, object I hide these two sketches and we go further now we want to create this uh, flanges one two they are identical because you see here twice of three holes this means that they are the same in dimensions but not in position take a look at dimensions 40 here and 15 is this radius good I want to mention that this uh, peak is uh, oriented so yes we select this plane for a new sketch F5 to see what we do here and polygon with three sides is the triangle equilateral I go here and this means that I place vertical not horizontal because this is the axis this line is perpendicular on this axis okay fillet radius 15 at each corner and a dimension of 40 between the center point and this line 40 finish sketch you see what I do here yes extrude with join the other direction at 10 the thickness is 10 Good. the same thing we do for the other one with the 
uh, peak placed up. I select this face for a new sketch, polygon, three sides placed here. This is vertical. I apply the vertical to be horizontal. No. Control Z. I apply horizontal to be horizontal. Then fillet of 15 at each corner and the distance of 40. 40. You can try to copy the other sketch to place here and you'll see that you have uh, some problems with this. Extrude this whole contour the other direction with join at 10. Okay. Next is uh, this internal void volume with diameter of 50 which must follow that uh, curved axis center line. I select this face which is uh, the plane XZ this is. I draw a circle of uh, 50 and I wonder where is that center line. <laughs> we can uh, recall that uh, special curve by selecting it and sharing the sketch. We share the sketch. You see the um, sketch now is here after sweep. If I apply share it goes also here. You can use it in any following features this sketch. This means sharing. If you change something here is changed also here and vice versa. Okay now I make this visible. It is visible. Good. Sweep. Sweep this contour. Now there were two or three contours. This is why I selected. And now I go here. You don't see that uh, blue underline because I can select also this. Close contour. I go here and I see select continuous sketch and so on. I go to the uh, curve and I apply cut instead of join. Okay. Now you see what is in the situation. I hide the shared sketch. 3D sketch was there, that one. And I apply fillets of 5 here and here. Okay. And holes. You see here radius 5, radius 5 and the holes are diameter of 15. I select this face, I create a sketch and I go back. You know why I obtain this. Alt F I. I call the application options with Alt F I in sequence 
to go to sketch and to show you this checked option auto project edges for sketch creation and edit by default this is not checked yes but I used to use check this uh, option you can use uh, this options yes the same result you have good hole diameter of 15 through all by selecting these three points okay then I make the same special procedure for the other flange okay good let's see what about the volume high properties physical update copy close drawing double click and paste there is a very very small difference we can ignore no we don't ignore I eliminate the former value and I use the new one because this is what we did here my friends good then we apply material which is uh, still carbon no edges and we apply smooth light orange as the color with two lights as you can see now we can compare the two and we don't see any difference I place here and here other aspects still polished see okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye